LexisNexis is a great place to start when researching a public company. Simply click the Get Company Info tab and enter the company's name or ticker symbol. I'm going to search for Google. Notice that when I search by company name, a list of results appears. If you don't see the company you're looking for, you can click View All Companies to see more results. In this case, I can just click the first link. On the landing page, I see a general overview of the company. Number of employees, a brief business description, financial highlights, and more. Along the left, I can click any of the links to get additional information about the company. Click Current News to view the most recent news articles about a company. I can also use the In the News section to look at company news from a specific publication on a specific topic, such as legal or marketing, or from a specific region. I can click Executives to get contact information for company executives. Company Hierarchy will list the parent company and all of the subsidiaries owned by the company. I can also get a list of every brand owned by the company or get a list of the company's competitors. Sometimes not all of the competitors are relevant, so use your best judgment when viewing this section. If you're researching a public company, you'll find lots of helpful data under the Financials section including financial statements and ratios, SEC filings, and analyst reports. The legal section will detail any recent legal disputes in which the company has been engaged, and the intellectual property section will describe recent trademarks and patents registered by the company. Notice that the source of the information is always listed at the bottom of the section you're viewing. You will need this information to properly cite the database. Use the options in the upper right part of the page to print, download, or email the page you're currently viewing. LexisNexis will generate PDFs, Word documents, and text files. Alternatively, you can use the custom report link near the bottom of the left side of the page to generate a PDF containing any of the sections you're interested in.